I cry myself to sleep. I, I, I get it. Alright. You cry yourself to sleep. Why are you telling me this stuff? Because you're not reacting and that scares me more than anything else. It scares you that I don't react to what you're doing? Like, I truly know when, when things are bad is when people start supporting you. And not, like, doing it. I mean... Oh, wait, so you think that the fact that I'm, like, helping you out right now means that there's something it wrong with you? It means that I've really fucked up. It's what, exactly what it means. Sometimes people just help each other, man. It doesn't matter, like, you, you, like I need help. Yeah, and like, every single, I help you, but like, at the same time though, I'll like, I'll still make little pokes at you, little jabs, to make sure you know, like, hey, things are still A-OK -okay and on the right path, they're just not 100%. So, you want me to poke and jab at you, and that'll make you feel better? It'll make me feel like that at least, like, you know, like, you're responding and things are going normal. I mean, for example, remember, like, in seventh grade? Yeah. And you needed help with the homework? And I let you copy up a mine, but the middle I wrote Dennis is a speech bag. And you copied that and the teacher was like, why'd you write that? Okay. Like it was my way, like you got the homework. You just happened to have like a swear word in it. And, and I got the detention. And, got, and see, that's how you knew I was supporting you. I gave you my homework to copy. And like you got like and I got to poke fun at you. So like, it was like a win-win for both of us. I still don't see your point. My point is, like, I get more upset when people treat like treat me as like they're walking on eggshells yeah. than anything else. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not treating you like you're walking on eggshells. Like, I'm not doing that. Okay. All right. It's cool. Yeah. I'm just not. I can tell you're a little jumpy though, yeah. and I'm not gonna be like poking at you that way because. They just don't do that, man. Sometimes you don't need to, like, always bring things out of people. Like, you just, if you're not feeling good, that's okay. Okay. All, All right? right? I'm All not right. going to make you do things that you don't want to do. I'm not... I, it, but if you don't want me to, like... If you want me to act like everything's normal, then fine. I'll act like everything's normal. Thank right? you. That's all I ask for but you. But it just feels sometimes that you get a little carried away, and then we got to deal with it. And especially in public, like, I just don't really want to handle that anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to do that. Right. It's a little embarrassing. Uh, so I'm embarrassing to you now? I think when you flip out, yeah, it gets I a little I can't believe you say that right now. Like, see? You see, how you, you see what you're doing? Yeah. And I see how you're reacting. I'm finally happy. Hear my voice, how happy I am right now that you're saying that I'm embarrassing. Don't do that, please. Don't do what? Be happy? See? Happy. Happy birthday to me. Okay. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I work in this area, okay? I work here, okay? The people here that come into my shop know me. And if they see me fighting with you, oh, they're gonna think something about me. I don't want, I don't want that kind of attention. Hey, they're gonna think like, wow, you're such a good person. Taking care of his friend. Oh yeah, Showing him a surprise. Listening to him. That's what you're gonna hear. Good friend. No, good, they're, good, good friend. They're gonna go, hey, did I see you outside with that crazy guy screaming? And then you'd be like, yeah, I don't really know him that well. Like, he just happened to be following me. And I uh, guess what happened? Look, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I'm not embarrassed of you. I just get embarrassed when you make scenes out in public. This is not a scene. This is just me, like, venting about the fact that my best friend just openly admitted he might be embarrassed to be seen with me. It's just that this is not, like, it's not, this isn't like your personal stage where you can go out and go, I'm doing this, look at everybody, I'm going crazy. It's like people have their lives. They don't want to deal with that. And you're like that guy on the bus. They're going to walk around and see they're already walking around me right now. Look at this, around us. They're ignoring us. We're like a footnote in life. All right, let's go. They are going to walk around us. They're not going to know me. They don't know me. They don't know me. And they're going to be like, oh, guess what? While walking, making me very nervous right now. While walking home today, I met this one crazy guy who was screaming at his friend. You just don't have to yell when you talk all the time. It doesn't, you can talk and not yell. You're like my dad. You're just like, hey, you going to eat breakfast? 
It's like you don't have to yell at me to have breakfast. You can just say, hey, are you gonna eat breakfast? There's just different volumes, man. There's different volumes for your voice. I just don't want to deal with that right now, okay? It's Saturday, it's nice, finally. Yeah. Finally it's nice. No snow for once. Right. And it's like, we can come out and go for a walk, you know what I mean? And hang out, we don't always have to like, make an issue out of it. And at the end, you're gonna give me this great, great surprise that like, I know will not support me at Side of the street. I'm just trying to find it. Just calm down. What do you mean trying? Just got done talking about. I'm not making you see. This is low. People can't hear me as I'm walking by. This is not a scene. This is just me asking questions. Severed head, I'd be very disappointed. <laughs> it's not that. I just, I just wanted to talk to you. Okay. Okay. I'm here. Today's my birthday, and you're gonna say, like, hey, we've been best friends for 16 years, and guess what? You don't want to listen to me? And you don't want me to make a scene either? I've got some thing right now. This, that, for, that, that was not a scene. This is a scene. Hey, mister, he doesn't want to be my roommate anymore. Guess what? I'm gonna be homeless. This is a great surprise. You could have told me that a couple blocks ago. I didn't, I was thinking about I just think it's not going to work out, man. I mean, we came here. All right, man. You know, it's like, we came I here. need my best friend. And guess what? He's like, he's literally bailing on me physically and metaphorically. Yeah, not, you are moving, asking not, me to move out. I'm not bailing. Okay. I just don't think we should live together. I don't understand. I mean, I've been good for you. I've, been, I've helped you out. I mean, like, I take you out of your comfort zone every single day. Upset. I mean, I said you're making a scene. You could have started with that. That's really understandable. I'm really happy for you, man. Oh my god. Like, now that makes perfect sense why you want me to move out. Fuck you, man. No, I'm really good thing. I'm really glad about this. No, no, yeah, okay. I, I, I can't see the sarcasm. I mean, this is not. I'm. This is exactly. I try to talk to you about something. It's like, I think I can find the perfect time to talk to you, and I can't. So I'm just walking, and I'm thinking, you know what? I just gotta tell you, because it seems like 
You don't even listen to anything I say, and unless I smack you upside the head with what I'm saying, you're not going to get it, okay? I get it. I mean, but I feel you went about that the wrong way. You're going to say, hey, I got good news, now I got bad news, I'm getting married. And then you're like, but you start off with the bad news, like, hey, you got to go find yourself with home. Like, no, like, I said I don't think we should live together. I didn't say I'm tossing you out on the street. Saying Steph and I are getting married. Now that's a good thing, though. You see, you start off with that. But like, you don't look happy. You look pissed. I'm not pissed. Like, like, honestly, this is what I would have said. You said, hey, Steph and I are getting married. I'm like, give me six months. I want to find a new place to live so you guys can have the place to yourselves. <laughs> and it'll be perfect. I didn't, I feel really bad now. Like, I truly feel bad. I mean, like, it truly, like, like, I always assumed that I, I was going to be your best man at your wedding. And. Well, I mean, I never said you weren't going to be my no, best I'm man. I'm not I'm just taking saying that. I'm just saying that. Excuse me. That, like, I'm really happy the f about the fact that you're already married. You don't look happy, you look disappointed. No. Well, you sound disappointed. Okay, I'm glad you're doing this. No, yep. I am, because you're not, like, walking around eggshells anymore. And you're totally, like, you know, jabbing at me. No, it just, it, it just, it thinks we're getting a little awkward, you know, in the place together. Like, it felt like we were kind of inching you out, and I just, I don't want to feel that way, you know what I mean? I just wanted to tell you what was up. Okay, and, like, I, like, I truly am not upset by this. I truly am, like, happy about this, and I truly get it. And I think, and the fact is, I've always thought you two guys were perfect. I mean, you guys have been together since, what, you were nine? It makes perfect sense that you guys would get married. And the fact remains, you don't want your best friend hanging out in your room all the time. Well, it doesn't mean that I don't want my best friend, but yeah, you know, I, I want to... So you're happy? I'm happy. No, I mean, it's, good with it. I'm good with this. You sure? I'm positive. Okay. Okay, so you're still gonna take me to the surprise, right? We're not afraid. Don't, don't worry, man. It's right over there. Right. Chipotle. 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 Wow.